Welcome back to my channel. So today is a little bit different of a video. I actually just got a call from somebody I went to high school with. I didn't get a call. Who calls? We text. I got a message on Facebook from a old high school acquaintance and he told me that one of his coworkers found a tarantula in his dining room. So that is random and I kind of was a little skeptical because up here by St. Louis, we don't really have a lot of tarantulas um as far as i know we don't i mean it's definitely not unheard of but it's it's just not something that you're likely going to find in the city so i was a little skeptical about it i asked him to send me some photographs and it sure enough is a tarantula i'm so surprised because usually when somebody tells me they found a tarantula in their house i'm like okay sure you did so it has been like non-stop storming in the midwest lately we've had some very scary severe weather um, lots of storms. My theory is that this tarantula probably got flooded out wherever it was staying because the weather's just been like non-stop. We have horrible flooding all over the Midwest but in a lot of places in Missouri right now. So I have a feeling that this tarantula just kind of got flooded out wherever it was staying or it's kind of sick of the weather like the rest of us and it decided to seek shelter in this guy's dining room. I'm kind of suspicious that it might be a mature male, but I did get a somewhat decent look at the pedipalps. It didn't look mature in the photograph, but it was a little bit of a fuzzy photograph, so it's kind of hard to say until we actually look at it. Right now, my assumption is, is that it's an aphonopoma hensi. It, it, there is a possibility it could be a different kind of aphonopoma, but um, it's it's probably a hensi, I, the Missouri tarantula, but um, I mean, or it could be a phonopoma annex. I think that's another possibility. It's really hard to say. But anyway, normally I would just say let it back outside. But like I said, the storms have been disastrous in a lot of areas. I can't let it go around here. There's nowhere for it to go. It's all populated and built up. Um, while there are some certain species of tarantulas that have adapted really well to living in populous areas, uh, this is not a species that I think would do well around here. So anyway, we're going to his work right now. We're going to go pick it up and I'll get a better look at it and we will catch up later and talk a little bit more then. Oh my gosh. Awesome. Okay. So here it is. It looks like an Aphonopelma hensi to me. Not a mature male. It has some kind of weird powder on it or glue or something. I don't know. So yeah, I need to go get some more Eagle Earth. I have a home for it and everything. And we'll look at it a little bit closer when we get back. Okay, so let's go get some substrate. We're just going to do a really basic dirt and spider setup but we will come back later and add some more stuff to it. So here's just some dirt and here we have the spider. I'm gonna see if I can handle it a little bit. Here it is. I don't know what that stuff is on it, but we can go ahead and try to mist it later and see if that will come off. It's a very beautiful tarantula though. It looks like it might be in pre-molt. So I don't want to handle it too much, but look how cute. I cannot believe somebody was going to throw you in the dumpster. Look at this face. Even if you don't like spiders, how could you do that? So cute. Three days later. Okay, so it has been a few days since I brought this little one home. I still don't know what this residue looking stuff is on it and I'm gonna try to see if we can just mist it a little bit and get it to come off. It is seeking shelter. So now that we are all wet, I do have a catch cup ready. Do not, please do not. Does that like pretend UK accent sound any good? Do not escape, mate. Okay, 
I'm done. Sorry about that if I've offended you. Okay, so I'm gonna just try to see if I can like, will you let me touch you? Doesn't like it. Whatever this is comes off. Of course, its butt is pointed like right towards me. Please don't kick any hair on me. As you see, I don't think it's coming off like at all. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I know you hate it. Okay, it's not coming off, so I'm gonna stop bothering it but you are so well behaved. I can't believe that somebody was going to throw this away though. Like, can you imagine? So I guess we're going to leave it alone for now. I do think that this might be a male, but it is by no means mature yet. It's still pretty young actually. I'm so glad that we were able to save it. So a big thank you to my friend who messaged me. So I was thinking, oh, this could be released back into the wild after the flooding goes down in the areas. But I spoke to a friend of mine and I asked if that is frowned upon once they're in captivity. And he told me that while he sees nothing wrong with it personally, that environmentalist will tell you it's a bad idea because they could be exposed to certain pathogens from like farm raised prey and such that we feed them. So it looks like we are going to be staying with me. This is the enclosure that I put together for it. As you see, we've got a water dish, some cork bark. If it wants to web that up and dig under it, that's usually what they do. Here is some webbing. As you see, we've already started to redecorate. We've been in this enclosure for about four days now and I did try to feed it, but it did not want to eat. So I am guessing that it might be in pre-molt as you see. Its bum is a little balding and darkening. So hopefully we will molt soon and then that weird substance can be off of us because I don't know if it's sticky. I don't know if it's uncomfortable. I don't really know what it is. Hopefully it's not causing any discomfort, but I don't think so. It doesn't seem to be causing problems walking or moving or anything like that. So this is my new rescued Afonopilma hensi. I don't know if any of you were curious, but I do have a female Afonopilma hensi. It's too bad that this one is so much larger than her because she's a confirmed female and personally, this one looks male to me. I did a whole video on her when I got her. This was actually a captive bred female. She's about four years old and we're gonna see if we can get her to come out for you guys. Oh, <laughs> I will insert some footage of her, but this is what she is currently housed in and she's doing really well. She's molted once in my care and I think another molt is coming up soon. So she's actually a little bit feisty, especially compared to the one that I just picked up, which is kind of interesting because in my experience, I always feel like the wild ones are a little bit more feisty, I guess. But, you know, it just goes to show that it really varies between specimens. So, that is her. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the like button if you did. Don't, don't forget. forget. Subscribe if you are not and you want to be. Don't forget that I have an Instagram that I use probably way too much. It's at tarantula.cat. You can go follow me there. Hey, what are you doing June 22nd? Will you be in the Phoenix area? Me too! You, you should, should come, come to Pet Fest! And meet all your favorite creators! And me! Tickets are only 10 big ones! Link below! Is that weird?